Hey, so it's a beautiful day out there, beautiful morning, like I always tell you guys. So, hey, in this quick video, I just want to talk to you guys out there, especially you guys who aspire to start up a new freight brokerage business and uh, become freight brokers out there. So I'm going to tell you guys the most challenging part when it comes to starting up your freight brokerage in this video. So real quick, I'm going to be doing another live free webinar covering sales. So sell or be sold part two. Uh, the first one was amazing. So I appreciate everyone who actually sat in on that live uh, free webinar the first time around sell or be sold trainer. I'm going to be doing a part two just because I have learned so much more about sales over the past uh, couple of months or a few months, however long that was ago when I did that part one. So in the description box below, if you guys are interested in attending this live free sell or be sold training, go ahead and um, register with the link below. So man, let's go ahead and get off into this content. Oh yeah, real quick, before I get off into this content, I had a moment with myself last night, right? So sometimes you just got to sit back and analyze your life, you know? So I had a moment with myself last night and I had to tell myself, man, you got to get back focused. You know, you got to get back tunnel vision. And that's when I'm at my all time peak and my all time high, especially when it comes to business, life or whatever it is out there. So. What am I saying by me getting back focus, you know, back tunnel vision? It's basically saying that I have to remove things and I have to remove people in my life that are distractions. If they're adding value to your life, hey, that's who you wanna keep around. But when it comes to anyone that is distracting you from being the best person that you can be, you gotta remove them. So that's what I'm doing now. I feel better. You know, I didn't remove everything that was a distraction. It could have been social media. It could have been family and friends. I did all of that honestly last night and it's all in your mind, you know? They don't know it, but like I say, it's all in your mind out there. So man, start removing them distractions out of your life out there and i guarantee you guys will see results in your personal life especially you guys out there that want to accomplish goals you know if you have a mission in life go ahead and attack it so let's go ahead and attack this actual content today too so let's talk about the most challenging part when it comes to starting your freight brokerage the most challenging part to me when it came to starting my freight brokerage was Anytime you go get a brand new MC number, it don't matter if it's for your carrier authority or for your freight brokerage. A lot of people don't want to do business with you because you're brand new out there. You know, so in the trucking world, they want you to be about 90 days on your authority before they start, a lot of freight brokers start giving you loads. And it's the same thing really when it comes to brokering freight. When you guys go get a brand new MC number out there, a lot of shippers, they, uh, don't want to do business with you because you're brand new and I can understand why of course you know people want to deal with people that have experience but really it's all about giving someone an opportunity too you know so even when I'm brokering out freight I don't care how long that actual truck driver has on his authority as long as he meets my requirements in the DOT requirements and especially as long as he has that million dollar general liability uh, general liability policy and that hundred thousand dollar cargo insurance, I mean that's the main thing to me. And check and um, checking their safety scores, of course, too. You know, but I don't care if they're uh, have one day on their MC. You know, if I have a load and they call me up and they say, "Man, I just got my MC yesterday," I'm giving them the load. You know, long as they meet uh, my requirements and the DOT requirements. So I'm about giving people a chance. But out here in life, a lot of people is not about giving people chances out here. You know, so when it comes to starting your freight brokerage, it's going to be a challenge for you for that first 90 days, really up until that six month mark, you know, and really it could go all the way up to about a year, you know, so 
that's going to be the most challenging part when it comes to starting your freight brokerage out there is a lot of shippers are just not going to want to do business with you because you're brand new you know so that's why i always tell you guys start building that freight brokerage right now and just let it sit for the first few months when i first started my freight brokerage i let my freight broker sit for a full year before i even brokered out one load and i didn't do it uh intentionally i pretty much did it because i was in the military active duty and i still was running my uh actual dually trucks so i was running a trucking company honestly i just didn't have the time you know so but that ended up being the best thing for me you know was just letting it sit that last year i was in the military so that's going to be your most challenging part so if you guys are really interested in getting into this business i say one thing for a fact is that you want to start building it up right now and just let it sit but still get out there and try to acquire shippers, you know, at, to be your customers. You know, it's never going to hurt because I guarantee you some of the shippers will do business with you, you know. But you just can't be lazy and you can't be afraid to start and start cold calling and walking into these shippers and receivers out there. And also another challenge or obstacle that you guys might face, especially being brand new, is, excuse me real quick lemon water right there good lemon water i'm sorry i just got to take a drink too feel good out here all right let's get back to it so another obstacle you guys might face out there will be actually brokering out that load to a trucking company because most a majority of trucking companies out here go through a factor in service so if they if your company is not set up with their factor and service your freight brokerage they're probably going to shy away from you from booking that load because your freight brokerage is not going to be factorable with their factoring company you know so that's going to be another big thing so that's why you guys have to get started so you can start building up some type of credibility with these factoring companies out there because right when you start brokering out that freight to those truck drivers like i say 95 plus percent of trucking companies use factoring companies out here you know so if you're not linked in with their factoring company already uh that might make that trucking company or that dispatcher who's booking that load shy away from you you know so those two things right there it's just because you're brand new you know it's like anything else in life when you're brand new you got to start building your name and start building your brand you know, so, um, man, I just want to drop this quick video on you guys out there today. So hopefully, uh, you know, me talking about uh, you guys out there who want to start up a brand new freight brokerage, make sure you take that into consideration. You know that some shippers might not want to do business with you because you're brand new starting out. And some of the trucking companies out here who you're actually going to be brokering out that freight to might not want to haul the load for you just because you're not linked in with their factoring company so you just got to start uh right now and then over time trust me you guys will start figuring it out out there you know so if you have any questions hit me on my email broker at managetrans.com go visit my website www.extraordinarymovement.com go get your 30 day free uh 30 day free trial <laughs> with dat Go sign up with Tabs, Transient Financial Services, if you guys are looking for a factor in service. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.